brothers and sisters, we are living in a very crazy time, extremely crazy time. The world is about to end. We are living in the, do you know, borrowed time? And unless people get to realize what uh, is going on right now in the world, you will be still thinking that you have a lot of time. But I tell you, we don't have time. We don't have time, brothers and sisters. Now, let me tell you something. Maybe you have never heard this, maybe you have heard it before. But you know everything around you right now is fake. So much fake things. Even the people are fake. And when I talk about fake, I mean fake. They are not flesh and blood like you. <laughs> right now, there are things which are called robotoids. I don't know if you have heard about that. Robotoids. Uh, some are being called chimeras. Others are being called... Uh, mm, what is it? Homobotgenesis. Others are calling them so many different kinds of things. Clones and all that. Uh, on my Facebook and YouTube, I've been speaking about clones the whole of the day. Just trying to show people how much we're living in a fake world. Everything is fake. People are fake. And uh, unless you realize this, that uh, we are not really wrestling against flesh and blood, it's you'll be <laughs> you'll be alone i'm sure you've heard them talking about they want uh, zero carbon emissions in the world have you heard about something like that they want zero carbon emissions zero now who emits carbon it is you and me we emit uh, carbon dioxide when we breathe and uh, if they want it at zero then that means they want you and me out. So who is going to be in this world? It is them. Who are these? These are entities. Remember, the Bible says that as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be when the Son of Man comes. The days of Noah, we understand very well. There were the Nephilims. They were there, the giants. Things which did not even have a soul. And that's exactly what they want. They want uh, that we... We, we allow and we accept these entities which don't even have a soul. And <laughs> do you just ask yourself, have you, ever, have you ever seen in the skies most of the time? You see in the skies there are those planes which are aeroplanes which are always emitting some smoke in the sky and then you keep on asking yourself what exactly is that being emitted in the sky most of the time? <laughs> You see uh, planes flying and then there is a smoke. That's called chemtrails. And chemtrails, uh, literally, they have some, some nanotech. What is nanotech? This is some metals which are designed for the sole purpose of, uh, you know, tampering with uh, you and your health, tampering with how you think, tampering with, and giving you different kinds of diseases and things like that. It's like, these people when they are spraying these things from the skies don't they really care about themselves don't don't they care about themselves like if if i will do something harmful in the society what about myself it is because they are entities this this these are just things they are things like how do i even explain they're not flesh and blood like you that's why they would do anything and they don't feel it they don't feel any 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 problem any issue with that all right let's talk about uh, weather as well there's a lot of uh, manipulation of weather nowadays they can they they're using a certain there's a certain uh, machine called the harp project it's in the north pole and i heard another one is in Me i don't know is in mexico or brazil something like that and uh, they use this harp project to manipulate weather in different ways and then they claim it is some climate issue you know what i'm talking about they can cause tsunami they can cause rain they can cause drought in some places the way they want and then they will say oh there's some you know the world is in a crisis and all this is happening and voila go and go and go and study what is hap h a uh, a uh, a a r p yes something like that go and read about that 
And apart from that, something else is happening. They are controlling all the industries in the world. Don't think that you can work so hard and become a millionaire. You're lying to yourself. It's really very hard. Okay, fine, you can become a millionaire at some point, but there's a certain level of money that once you reach at that point, they will definitely 100% make sure they come for you. And they want you to join their secret societies. They want you to join whatever thing that they're doing. And uh, if you don't join them, then what happens is that they try to eliminate you. And maybe through uh, spoiling your, 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 maybe painting a bad name on you and saying whatever things that they can be able to say. And if not possible, they can even eliminate you completely by killing you. And this one has happened so much. Just look at so many presidents who refuse the, the this thing, agenda. You know what I'm talking about? Like in Tanzania, just our neighbor here in Tanzania, the president, you know, was eliminated, I believe, because he could not bow down to the to the agenda of uh, Satan. Think about the president in Madagascar. He missed death by a wink. He was, he was being assassinated, something like that. Look at the president of Haiti. He refused the same thing. He was, he was assassinated. Look at the president of uh, Burundi. He refused. And the next minute, oh, he's in the hospital, oh, something came up uh, and he's dead. Why? It is because you're living in crazy, evil world. And these are the days that people need to open up their mind and, and uh, change the way of understanding things. Because the days that we're living are really evil. They're really evil. Really, really evil. And until you wake up to this calm, you're going to be fooled, my friends. Right now, the only thing which can save you is not yourself, is not anything that you have, is not about the money that you have, is not about who you know, where, or things like that. It is about knowing Jesus Christ. A righteous man can fall several times. You can fall and fall and fall. So many things can happen and you find yourself, your you're in the dirt, but that is not the end of the world. If you have Christ Jesus in you, he's going to do it for you. He's going to make ends meet for you. He's going to help you. Sometimes I try to talk to God and tell him, God, please look at me. Look at my life. Look at the things that I do. Look at everything that I'm I'm planning but I don't want anything to go against your will because if I go against the will of God then things are not going to work out the way I'm thinking but whenever you place yourself uh, in the will of God then he's going to do it for you let me start going back if you place yourself in the will of God he's going to do it for you he's going to change you he's going to help you out he's going to stand with you he says seek me first seek the kingdom of god first and the rest shall be added unto you sometimes we fail even in our lives even in our relationships and in our jobs because we are seeking other things we're not seeking the kingdom of god first jesus said that you being evil if you know how to give good gifts unto your children how much more will your father in heaven give unto those give the holy spirit unto those who believe to those who ask how much more the father in heaven he's he has everything he's got everything he can give it to you but you you keep on saying ah i don't want this i i just want to walk in my way god is very gracious to us he loves us so much he cares for us so much and he knows our weaknesses he knows our weaknesses and he understands our troubles. He understands who we are from the earth. And all that God is seeking is the sincerity of your heart. The sincerity of your heart. He's not looking for a perfect person. Remember, the Bible says God does not choose the, the strong. He chooses the weak. He chooses the weak. 
if you're weak then you're the right candidate for who God is going to use he uses the weak to ashamed the strong I don't know if you're getting my point God uses the weak to ashamed the strong and uh, I want to tell you this moment that you don't have to fear anything if you're in Christ Jesus don't fear anything but if you're not in Christ Jesus man there's a lot to fear there's extremely a lot to fear you better start fearing because it will be so bad to a point that you will not be able to comprehend what's going on the things which are coming upon the world are going to terrify people they're going to terrify people so much that you'll not be able to understand what is going on it's going to be so much terrible that people will run to and fro up and down looking for answers but they'll not be able to get them people will be selling their houses places and things whatever they have and they'll be saying please just tell me what's going on they'll be saying exactly that just tell me what is going on please tell me i don't understand what is going on please would you come to my rescue just tell me what is going on i need to understand people will be selling their cars and do <laughs> It's coming terrible times. Terrible times are coming. But if you're in Christ Jesus, then you're okay. You're okay. There is nothing, totally nothing to worry about. Brothers and sisters, believe the gospel. Believe the gospel. The gospel is very simple. It's just about understanding how that Christ died for our sins, was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's the gospel. How did Jesus die? He died by shedding his blood. Why? Because without shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Hebrews 9.22 So why is the blood important? The Bible says in the, the book of Leviticus 17.11 that the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I've given the, you the blood upon the altar to make an atonement for the soul. So the blood of Jesus was shed for us. So that if we believe, then we'll not perish, but we'll have everlasting life. That's exactly the reason why Jesus shed his blood. And for you, you need to believe. And if you don't believe, then it's all up to you. The gospel is free. It was freely given. People are still fighting to see, what can I do to, get, to go to heaven by my own works? Your works will never take you anywhere. It is only by faith. By faith that you're going to be saved it's only by faith only faith that you're going to be saved i believe this message has been encouraging to all of you may you find peace even in these trying times may you find peace brothers and sisters may you find peace may god bless you and bless all of you amen